This week we head back to the small town where the Great Lakes Chinook Salmon Fishery was born. Manistee, Michigan is part of the foundation of the thriving sport fishery that we enjoy today all across the Great Lakes. With that being said, some of the most experienced and knowledgeable charter captains have been born here, and in this episode, we are lucky enough to join one of them. Captain Paul Shafley of Riverside Charters has spent his entire life fishing this port, and this week, we joined Team Riverside to compete in a professional salmon fishing tournament on Lake Michigan. Welcome back to another episode. Bird and bird, baby! Got ten this year! Got ten, baby! Yeah, 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 four boys! So last year was the first time that I've ever been able to experience a salmon fishing tournament like this. And it was also the first time that I've ever been able to fish with Team Riverside as well. We competed in the Manistee Triport Challenge Tournament, and this year we were back to fish it once again. I think one of the things that I respect the most about Captain Paul personally is just how humble he is for being such an accomplished charter captain and tournament fisherman over the years. It's not very often in life when you meet somebody who's been that dedicated for over 40 years, no matter what it is, and they still have that fire in them to do a good job and get people on fish. So needless to say, I was very excited to fish with these guys this weekend and see what this trip would have in store. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Doing great, how are you? Good. Can give you a hand? Yep. Take a cooler? Yeah. All right. Back at it this morning. Well, I hope we do a little bit better today. <laughs> How'd the women's tournament go yesterday? Well, we got second. Big King, though, a 27 pound salmon. Chinook. You need to get a bigger one today. I think there's going to be some Big Kings caught. Oh, yeah. Way after mid morning. Yeah, look. Gotta get down there. As we pulled away from the dock, enjoying the fleet of tournament boats, it was quite inspiring to feel the rumble of nearly 100 motors all headed out to await the shotgun start. I couldn't help but smile as the back of each boat was filled with excited anglers all headed out to do something they absolutely love. We were all blessed with calm seas and just a picture perfect beautiful morning to venture out on the open waters of Lake Michigan. It wouldn't be long now until the first lines would drop and the games would begin for the next two days. Well, just hopefully set up on them. <laughs> it's half the battle. We did yesterday. Old Faithful. I'm getting like Old Faithful. Every morning. You're gonna need 10 both days. I'm gonna think, I'm gonna pray. <laughs> it's really anybody's game, man. Just like every year, it's anybody's game, but I think Paul's got a pretty good chance of winning this year, so we'll see. to take everything you know When the monster crawls out of the sea You're gonna need somebody like me When your brother's got blood in the streets You better call somebody like me I was made in the shadows Where the light
all you, buddy. My hot ever going now, baby. He's gone. Oh, oh. Going. Just was moving, moving it. We'll try this again. Let's Barely got that little rod holder. Yeah, oh, just inching it out. Just get hit again. Yeah, oh, board. Come on, board. Buried my board. He's already on top out there. I can't do much right now, fellas. You can't pull the other side. This guy's gonna come in, he's gonna get us if we don't watch. There's one on the low diver, baby! There's one on the low diver! That's that looks like a heavier fish, eh? Oh, that one's got some shoulders! Doubled up here, doubled up. They're taking you guys along for the ride here. Look at this screamer over go. here. It's on the wrong side, Paul. That's all right. <laughs> it's got to catch fish, that's all. He felt him get up. What? He broke it. I never felt him get up the whole time. I never felt nothing. Oh. Right up one. He must have ate it. God, I don't even know when it happened. Yeah. Teeth are sharp. Nothing you can do about that. Nothing you can do about that, I guess. Golly. He's coming fast. Beautiful king. That's what we're looking for. Oh, that's 12 pounds. Yeah, Sarah that's Cole. a decent one. Good I'll one. take about nine more of them right yeah. now and go yeah. eat breakfast. Nice king, Ten Peter points. King. 10 yeah. points. Right. We're all right. Yeah. Here we go. I got this right, I got this right, Paul. I'm all right, Paul, now. All right, all right. Is he there still? He's yeah, there. He's still there. All right, cool. I'm I think right. we're all clear on this ball. Yeah. That was some swift maneuvering. I was hoping it was the drop. <laughs> I seen it underneath there that was there. Now we hit another fish. We got another fish. <laughs> <laughs> right? Good plan. Ball. Hey, when I won Luddington, I turned on every big king. Oh, every oh, big one. Captain Paul on the hand line. Eater king. Another silver fish. Yeah, there ain't no secret about that one. What's that now? White Slick, Pickled Sunshine, Dreamweaver, Shane Rubianis' favorite bait. <laughs> He's got it on every day. Catch a fish. He does. Right, well, 120. Uh, Not a big one, but it's all right. Get our four, maybe try to pick one or two out, and then go get trout here. At least we're getting the bite now and then. Well, I just wish we could get some bigger fish so far, but we'll take what comes. Lost a couple good ones. Hey. That always hurts. Thank you. We got seven o'clock. I'm thinking give it one hour here. And then go to try to catch some trout so we got our 10. And yesterday morning at 12.45, we caught that 27 pounder. So then come back here and try to catch another big one. They always turn back on mid-morning. Rigger got one on the rigger! There he is, baby! Check the drag. Just dropped it to 180. That's got some shoulders. That's got some shoulders. Kind of don't want this fish. You're all right. You ain't handing it up. Just watching my dive. Yeah, so go left side. Oh, that's a big fish. Big fish. Look at that thing just dogging. Oh, you want to slow down a little bit or no? It's a big smith. Oh my god, I'm almost out of line. <laughs> Should put new line in there real. So I cut off a bunch yesterday when it got tangled up. We can turn on this fish if we need to. It's straight now. You only got one board on that side. I guess it's a rig. I forget the rigger. Uh. Oh my goodness. You're a east of it. 
more than you think on there. The more than you think. He blew his rod. I don't know if he even blew his rod yet. Coming up. Running at us. Coming up. Good job, bang boy. You got him, bud. Oh, I got one on this right there. Nice. Doubled up, guys. We got one coming up here. I'm going to turn my camera. Oh, slow me down. Slow me down. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Not as big as I thought he was. I thought he was a little bigger than I was going to upgrade. Watch that diver. Watch that diver. Watch that diver. Watch that Money shot, baby. <laughs> After a nice morning flurry of action, the guys put six nice salmon in the box, which was essential to be competitive in this tournament. In order to even be competitive in this tournament, you must weigh a 10 fish limit catch, which will require at least four silverfish, and then the other six can be lake trout. We could now go target lake trout the rest of the morning in order to hopefully secure our 10 fish limit catch and earn all the points that we were able to earn that day to be competitive in day two. We are going to catch trout, try to catch trout. Figure we got four hours, we gotta get at least four trout, and then we can come back and try to get a big king. Bottom line is you don't have 10 fish on the first day, you might as well not even fish the second day. That's my experience, by far. We'll go catch four trout and come back and try to get another big king, I guess. Motors are fired up. As we changed our location and dropped our baits down to the depths to target lake trout, the bite prevailed to be fairly difficult throughout the rest of the day with flat calm seas and a lot of boat traffic. We worked hard, changed countless baits, and thankfully, just in the nick of time, we were able to close out our 10 fish limit catch with seven salmon and several nice lake trout as well. Now, it was time to head back to the scales and see where we'd stand after day one. We got, got our 10, so I guess I can't feel too bad. We got a few nice fish, nothing huge, but we should be rating them right there somewhere. Up maybe the top 10, maybe, we'll see. I don't know how everybody did. I didn't talk to that many people today. I only talked to a couple guys. See what happens. There's some nice trolls. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Next up in the Pro Division Team Warehouse side, Giant Lake Trout. We don't get anything. Giving me the opportunity to remind the teams in line that the Lions Club is inside the pavilion here asking for fish donations today to support their upcoming fish boil as part of the Manistee National Forest Festival. Please, if you can, donate any or all of your tournament catch today. First limit of fish here today. The 10 fish pro side limit the first of the day and it comes up just shy of the century market 99-10. Team Riverside. Where'd you get them? As we reached the tournament scales and weighed our catch after day one, we were sitting up near towards the top of the leaderboard and in a great position for day two as most boats weren't able to weigh a 10 fish limit catch. It was great to see everybody's catches and hear stories from many different anglers, but now it was time to head back, get some sleep, and get ready to hit it bright and early on day two. Well, I'm thinking that we got a good chance. I mean, we're sitting in fifth, only one, you know, not too far out of first. 
a different day though. We got all these clouds, stormy kind of eerie feeling. So I think there's gonna be a lot of big kings caught today. I really do. South wind blew a little last night. We'll find out shortly. We can get out of the river here. The traffic jam of boats right now. It's gonna be windier though, east wind, it could, it could mess up the fishing. It is what it is. Head shaking, head shaking. One forty-three. He hasn't taken much line. He was like a ten-pounder. Trying to get our divers on that other side. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Nice, 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 nice. All right. First king in the morning. Here we go. There's a start, yeah, you're guys. You're not better than that. All right, well, first fish of the morning was a nice 10, 12 pound cookie cutter king. Definitely nice to have a silver fish in the boat, but we're gonna need some bigger fish than that. Come on, stop it, stop it. Oh, man, come on. Did he come he's off? Still, uh, he's, he's still there, get ready, guys. He's coming in hot. He's swimming at us, guys. Let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have here, swimming right at us. Right at us, hand line, hand line. Oh, -ho! <laughs> scrappy king. There we go, guys. Nice. Out of heat. Watch here. Here, get over there. Oh, what am I doing? Trying to get the rigger out of the way. What are you doing? Just get a help. It's in this diver, in this diver, in this diver right here, in this diver. We got him, baby. <laughs> Bit of a panic. All right, we got it, guys. We got Grace it. is subverted. <laughs> okay, well, we just made a big move. We have four salmon in the box. Now we need six more fish. We can get six lake trout, though. So we're going to try to target lake trout, see if we can get our lake trout, and then we'll go look for a big king later in the morning. Well, that didn't take long to find a trout. No, he didn't. I got one right away. Feels like a really good one, too. He's not cooperating at the moment. After switching to lake trout, it didn't take long to get in on the action. There's one, there's one, there's one! We hit five trout back to back to back, but then of course, in normal fashion, we just needed one more fish, and that was the toughest one. 
We only needed one more fish to close out our limit catch and rode for over an hour without as much as a bite. We were getting down to the last 20 minutes of fishing time and it really turned into a nail biting moment. With only a few minutes of fishing time remaining, we were blessed with one more opportunity to make something happen and be able to secure all of our tournament points. Oh, pressure. Would it be smart to hand line them the last 30 feet, 40 feet again? We have about five minutes before we have to pull lines. Here we go, we got a net on each side. Paul's on the left, Dustin's on the right. Fish is staying deep. This fish is on a spoon. We need this fish. Pick it up. Oh my goodness. Rip and drag back down. Oh god. I think it looked like he had it hooked pretty good, but I don't want to say that too much. Didn't say it at all. I don't. It's alright, it's coming up here. Stop touching. Stop touching. Stop touching. Just come by your side. Here we go. Yes! Yes! Woo! Turn and burn, baby! Nice fish. Nice fish, too. That a boy. Got ten, baby! Got ten, baby! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, boy! Let's get it running. Great job, Woo! guys. In the last few minutes, we're able to close out the 10 fish limit, baby. Now I can breathe. Oh, man, I thought he had that. All right. Well, that feels good. <laughs> Turn around. Put our stress level right through the rough for the last half hour, but we got our 10. It should put us in the running. We'll find out all the other boats did. It's going to start to rain right now, so we got done at the right time. And uh, we'll see what happens. I think we did pretty good. I think we should be up there. So we're going to find out the way in here shortly. Next up in the pro division, Team Riverside. Four, ten fish, Scotty. It's a ten fish limit catch. Nice box. Ninety-five ten on the ten fish limit from Riverside. Second place. Oh my gosh. These guys. They were crying and whining two days in a row, but they they did it, man. They always come through. 394 points. 394.2 total points is good for $4,500. Yeah. Team Riverside. Come on! Well, this was another awesome experience on the water with Captain Paul and Team Riverside. I can't thank these guys enough for letting me tag along and join them in this tournament fishing weekend. If you haven't checked out the Manistee Triport Challenge Tournament yet, then make sure to come give it a try next year. Thanks so much for watching this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we will see you right back here next Sunday at 5 p.m. in our next episode.